Wow, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm using iPhoto right now, and um, I've just kind of gotten into this um, naming people's faces. So, um, notice I found my own face in this picture, and actually I didn't yet, but I'm going to name it. I'm going to add missing face right here, and I'm going to say add missing face. I'm going to drag this little box to my face, and I'm going to click to add name. And I'm going to say Kristen Westlake, and I come in actually from my address book on the Mac. And then I can click this, and it's going to say, it's going to tell me that I had already labeled some of my other pictures with my face. And now it says Kristen Westlake may also be in the photos below. And it's going to allow me, if I go down right here, to confirm name, and I can press that. Um, to confirm. So if I press that, I go to any of these, it just says click to confirm. And it's going to allow me to click any of these to confirm that I am in fact Kristen Westlake. I don't think I can select all. No, nope. it's going to make me go through and click them all. But it's pretty clever. You can see that the iPhoto program got all these pictures of me you can scroll down and it's collected them from all over even from one from when I was a little kid right here and that is me so it's collected quite a few now this one's not me this is me from when I was a little kid so it's looking for certain features but it's kind of funny how that works and then when you're done just click a few more you can say done and now I've got Kristen Westlake in all of these pictures so if I go over to faces I can say all faces and it's got um, <laughs> it's got all these people in here so I can go to me and it's going to pull up all the pictures that have me in them so it's a great way to organize your friends when you've got a lot of events and I organize my my library and my iPhoto by events and I just use my iPhoto photos in here mostly or pictures that I take that people will put on Facebook and I might keep them in my iPhoto library. So it's a different library than I use for my my actual fine art photography. So anyway, it's kind of neat. I've got some albums here, but I found that the events are the best way for me to organize the things that I do with my iPhone and iPhoto.